I just met, I met David in the post office, and within two days we were just amazing friends, and, you know, last year, you know, he's wanted me to come do things, and I wanted to so bad, but I've been so sick, and he's never stopped, you know, trying and saying hello, and, you know, being there for me, and, it means it means the world to me that it is, and he's an awesome person. And I actually um, and I was lived in Florida for a long time. I'm up here because this is where I lived with my ex. But you know, and I knew that God didn't want Lily to watch me. It suffer. It was so hard to watch her watching me, and you know that's why he took her and um, and I have my old business partner, good good friend in Florida, and I called him. I finally found his number. I couldn't find it for a long time, and he says, "Well, get on down here. You got a place and." You know, it's just David's helping me because I haven't been able to like do laundry since August, and David's helping me put things together. And I got this guy who I don't even know is um, coming to with his friend to um, load me up. On, I have a grand caravan. They're gonna load me up on Tuesday, and Wednesday I'm leaving. I'm going to go stay with, with, you know, Frank. Where are you from? Uh, I'm in the UK. Oh, nice. I got to, I was so lucky. I got to spend ten weeks in Europe, um, mostly in Zakynthos, Greece. And, okay. and I, I've been so blessed. I had so many experiences and you know I'm ready. I've had RA for the past six and a half years, and enough is enough. But it's I can't believe you know across the world here's someone who cares, and you're awesome. I, I thank you, and I know I'll see you in heaven. And I'll recognize you, and I'll say you know I'll hug you and say thank you so much. And, Okay. I know. I know she's there. It was just it's just so hard right now that when I don't feel good. And um she was always there if you look at the other video and you know, I was horrible yeah. looking and she just purrs and she was there for me. And that's the hardest thing now is that she's not I miss her so much, but there was three weeks I couldn't even pet her. I couldn't even move. I didn't get out of bed. I didn't eat, drink, pee, nothing. I don't know how, like, her litter box was scooped or anything. And that, that she didn't want to see that. She is. She's right outside my window, and um, if you saw that, you know, when I had my lung surgery, she kept me alive because I have sleep apnea as well, and I would, I would stop breathing, and she'd rub me with that really soft fur they have on the side of their mouth. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and she'd rub me, and I'd go like that, and you know, start breathing again, and she slept until I got better for weeks with her back or her, her feet against my chest so that, you know, she'd feel me if I was breathing or not. And God sent me the most amazing creature, and I know he loves me. He's my dad. I know when I got saved that 
That was the best thing, was that I had a loving father, you know? Yeah. Someone who didn't beat me and tell me I was worthless. And, I mean, he loves me, he plays with me, and I love going to the park, and we play on the swings, and David used to take me to the woods and teach me some of his, um, he's so awesome, like, physically, when he did his mixed martial arts, and he taught me a lot of things to help me be stronger physically. And I still, to this day, I have one of the, um, the, like, the Filipino fighting sticks, and I practice with them, and they help keep my fingers nimble. Yeah, he, he's just an amazing guy, and I love him so much. Tell me a little bit about you, please. You married? <laughs> no, not for want of, um, not for want of, I've been, um, if it's meant to happen, it will happen. But, uh, I've been, um, I hear you. I've been led on and dumped a few times, but, um, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that, that's okay. It's, uh, what is, what is meant to, if, uh, if it's meant to, if it's meant to happen, it won't happen. Well, I wish I wasn't sick. I'd marry you. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's almost 10 p.m. It's, it's 2200 hours. Yeah, that's what I figured. I was counting. Because <laughs> I know Greece was eight hours, so. Well, I thank you so much, and um, I know if, if you want to call at any time, day or night, and you know I'll give you a call too. I'll count in the hours and say hello, and you know let you know because I'm going to be driving alone down to Florida come Wednesday, and it would be nice to be able to pull over on the side of the road and. You're, you know, you're a loving voice. Okay. You get some good rest, and God bless, and... And uh, to you as well. Uh, you, Jesse. You too, I love you, Simon. Lots and lots of love, and uh, enormous hugs. Oh, big hugs. Hugs are wonderful. Make hugs, not more. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet dreams, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh my god, that was awesome. It's amazing that my family bore me by my blood. They don't care about these people, all these strangers. I meet on the internet, I meet in the post office, I just meet in a barber shop, and they love me, and they care about me, and they come and visit with me, and break bread, and have lunch, or whatever, and help me bury my cat, and David, who's doing all these videos, I can't believe one lady, she's actually a nurse, who is part of my care. She asked me if David, I thought David was exploiting me. And I said absolutely not because the love that he is bringing in from it is the more love that I've had in my whole 47 years. I thank you all for caring and writing. And just know that it's hard for me to type, so I can call or you can call anytime. Just ask for my number and I'll give it to you or give me yours. And I love you all. Thank you for caring. It's, it 
happy world to be. There's the world is actually a better place now that this has happened to me that I'm sick and I lived a life. Oh my God, I'm not I'm not scared to die. I'm ready to because I know where I'm going. And I know that it's going to be so much love up there with God and my loved ones. I read Akitas and my dogs will be there. And my grandmother. And eventually my other friends will come up and I'll get to meet you guys one day too. And it'll be away from the, this hell of an earth. It's, I've been robbed, beaten, mugged, and stolen everything I own. It, it, it's horrible. This is this is the hell. So all the bad people, they'll stay here. Let the ball, you know, eat each other. I don't care, but we'll be up there giving hugs and love and having picnics and playing in the woods and in the park and David teaching us some you know, exercise things and go and swimming and oh my god, it's endless. Just slides and swings and thank you so much everybody and I love you all. I'm getting really tired so I'm gonna go rest now and good night.